Hi, I'm Denise Durkis, Chair of Los Alamos County Council, and I'd like to briefly recap Tuesday night's County Council meeting. Um, we received our semi-annual update uh, from Ted Weika, the NNSA Site Office Manager, and he indicated that NNSA, um, or Lionel rather, anticipates hiring about 1,400 people in 2025. This would include replacing about 900 positions due to attrition and an additional 500 new hires. Um, he indicated that um, Lionel is continuing to use remote work and alternate schedules to help alleviate traffic issues in the county. Um, he confirmed that speed cameras, cameras have been installed on Lionel property and that traffic data are now being collected to enforce um, safe driving habits. And that he indicated that Lionel is focusing on dangerous behaviors such as speeding, tailgating, road rage, and failing to signal. Um, and he, he did emphasize that Lionel's area of jurisdiction is limited, that the pro force cannot ticket, um, but uh, that they are working closely, closely with the Los Alamos Police Department um, on traffic enforcement. So um, Lionel also presented um, a proclamation on Arts and Humanities Month, uh, a proclamation on Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and awards for the county clerk's office. I voted, I voted early and future voter sticker cont uh, contest. Um, council also approved a revised chapter 14 of the county code pertaining to cemeteries. Uh, we approved a resolution accepting the public infrastructure for the Mirador subdivision phase two. Uh, we approved a plan for the use of the opioid settlement funds. Uh, we approved a contract with um, Double E LLC to install water lines under the Hamas Mountain um, fire protection phase one project on, DP, on uh, Camp May Road. Uh, we approved a services agreement with uh, Waste Connections of Albuquerque LLC for mixed waste recycling services. And we approved an additional one-time allocation of $50,000 for UNMLA capital projects. Um, Council also received a quarterly briefing on regional and intergovernmental affairs issues, which included my report on last week's advocacy trip to Washington, D.C. So um, the trip included County Manager Ann Laurent, um, our Intergovernmental Affairs Manager, um, Danielle Duran, um, Council Randall Wrighty, and myself. So we attended the National uh, Environmental Cleanup Workshop, which included speakers such as um, Representative Chuck Fleischman of Tennessee, who is the chair of the House Appropriations, Energy and Water Development Subcommittee. Um, a speech by the Secretary of Energy herself, Gen Jennifer Grisham. Uh, a speech by Senior Advisor for Environmental Management, or EM1, uh, Candace Robertson. And a speech from uh, Principal Deputy Assistant Secretary, or EM2, Jeff Avery. Uh, and the, the workshop also included um, numerous uh, informative panel discussions, um, of which uh, Council Wrighty was a part. Uh, we also had very productive advocacy meetings with DOE EM senior officials and with our um, congressional delegation. So we met with Senator Martin Heinrich and his senior staff. Um, Senator Ben Ray Lujan, senior staff. Unfortunately, he was called to a vote, so we didn't get to see him personally. And also with Representative Teresa Ledger Fernandez and her senior staff. So among the issues we discussed, so with the EM senior management, um, we um, discussed uh, the continued efforts on the um, um, the hexavalent uh, chromium plume, um, and we were informed that um, 
the independent um, report um, will be undergoing a 30-day review period um, before it's uh, released to the public. Um, we also um, uh, were um, assured that they are working on um, the list of the uh, status of cleanup of the off-site solid waste management units and areas or, or schmooze and areas of concern or AOCs um, that are on county property um, that are accessible to the public um, and they are working on uh, the list of their scheduled cleanup for these locations. And we also talked um, with our congressional staff on key issues that including, included um, funding and uh, support for Lionel's National Security Science mission. Um, we discussed uh, the passage of um, the land transfer law under the National Defense Authorization Act um, for uh, future transfers um, from um, NNSA, DOE, to the county. Um, they assured us of their support for new legislation that would, sup that would um, replace the legislation that is already um, in place. Um, we also discussed a creation of a, a DOE community infrastructure grant program based on the Department of Defense Community Infrastructure Pilot Program, or DSIP. And they also indicated their support for creation of such a program. Um, this has already received uh, support from the Energy Communities Alliance, the National Community um, the National Association of Counties. Um, we're expecting support from the National League of Cities. And um, so they are currently working on a language for legislation to create um, such a, a grant program. So we're hoping that this will get moved forward in both houses of Congress. And they all, as we also asked for, and they assured us of their support for um, the um, um, an amendment to the Radiation um, Exposure Compensation Act to include uh, affected um, uh, residents of New Mexico and uh, the surrounding uh, states. So um, Senator Lujan did introduce this legislation last year. It came close to passage, but not quite. So um, they're indica they indicated that they expect it to be reintroduced this year, and they're encouraged that it will be that it will be successful this year. So those were the key areas that, that um, we discussed. Um, we felt that it was they were very positive and very supportive of the, the county's um, requests, and. Um, we anticipate that there'll be another um, meetings with them probably in another six months or so. So, and that is all that I have to report for this week. So thank you very much.